Hey guys, in this video we are going to be adding a vibration into our Android slash iPhone app. Now, uh, this only works when you have a phone that supports a vibration, but uh, I think modern, all modern iPhones and I don't know, most if not all Android phones uh, support vibration. I'm not an expert in Android iPhone smartphone specs, so I have no idea, but I'm going to guess that most of at least most of them is going to support some, what, some kind of vibration so we are going to be doing that oh yeah in my last video i said i am going to be uh writing create window before i do my tutorial but i completely forgot about that so i'm just going to quickly write a create a window with a background color of white okay so uh as usual just create a label uh create typo label just so that we could see the change when we do the vibration. So the text is going to be click to vibrate your phone or something like that. And the width and height is going to be auto. Height auto. And that's it. Okay, so we are going to be creating a button next. Button equals tie.ui.create button. And when we click on this button, we want the phone to shake. So the title is going to be, uh, I don't know, like vibrate, vibrate, yeah, I think that's right, vibrate. Uh, I want it to be about 50 high, uh, I want the width to be, I don't know, like 80, it doesn't really matter. And I want it to be at the bottom, so just like 30 pixels on the bottom. It's just all random numbers, but in my just like experience from looking at the simulation, I think that's about right. And the next thing we're going to do is create an event listener for our button. So when we click on our button, we want the uh, phone to shake. So we're, look, uh, we're listening to the click, click of the button. And as our for our callback function, we are going to say titanium or tie dot media dot vibrate. That's it. Tie dot media dot vibrate. And when that, or with just this code, uh, if I click on this button, it's going to vibrate your phone. Tie.media.vibrate cleverly vibrates your phone like brrr. And we're just going to change the label, our text, to the phone vibrated. And there we go. Semicolons. And lastly, win.add label. And don't forget to add your button as well. And lastly, window open. Oops, not open. Open it. Window open. Okay, so I'm going to save my work and uh, run my iPhone simulator. Okay, so our app has loaded. We have a button and a text or a label which says "click your vib click click to vibrate your phone." Ugh, my tongue's not my tongue's not moving, as you can clearly hear. Okay, uh, I'm going to click on this phone and. There we go, your phone has vibrated. It says the phone vibrated with no errors. Unfortunately, as you can see, the iPhone simulator doesn't uh, shake because it doesn't really support vibration. You won't be able to look at your phone vibrating unless you uh, test or sim or yeah test your app using a real iPhone. So you need to use an iPhone uh, to debug when you're doing vibration. However, for uh, one, there has been no errors shown in both the console and the app itself. And two, the labeled text, the phone vibrated, has actually shown. So this event listener has worked and apparently the phone vibrated. So it actually works, although you can't really see it with a simulator. If you really want to check it, you can connect your uh, iPhone slash iPhone, uh, Android device to your app and then uh, uh, test it like that. But I'm not going to go as far as to that because I know that works. So that was a quick video on uh, vibrating your phone, although you really couldn't see it, but it actually really did vibrate like that, like this. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and favorite if you do want to. I never do, but yeah, apparently it helps. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.